What's up everyone? The backyard at Direfest has gone into lockdown, so everybody's screaming. <laughs> Kyle is a liar. There we go. Thank you. That's what people are trying to shout, but the house guests can't hear it. We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. All right, folks, now, right before we get started, if you haven't already and you want quick, concise, and fun Big Brother videos on your YouTube feed, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button and the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live. All right, let's jump right into the live feed updates. Now, in yesterday's update, we talked about the fact that even as I was recording yesterday's, the feeds hadn't came back from the previous night. And that continued to be the case for a few hours until after I'd finished recording. Uh, feeds didn't come back till about midday, and we didn't even see what is going on at Direfest. We only got feeds of Big Brochella, which is making everybody starting to speculate going... What the hell is going on, right? Because still, as of now, as I sit here recording today's live feed update, we have not seen Direfest. It's st we only still see inside. I'm going to get to explaining that a bit more later, some potential reasons why and some things that are actually happening. Um, but this all stems from somebody yelling over the wall. Um, I'll tease it now a little bit. A couple days ago... It sounds like, and it seems almost like 100% now, somebody basically came by the CBS lot and shouted over the wall, Kyle is a liar, um, you know, don't trust him, all those kind of messages, basically just throwing Kyle under the bus and we haven't seen outside since. So yeah, but we're going to get onto that a bit later on what's going on in the backyard and if there's been any more wall yelling going on, because trust me, this is juicy, you do not want to miss it, folks, so wait until a bit later in the video. But anyway... All the fun's happening in Big Brochella at the moment. They had a party, of course, because they live in that luxury lifestyle like Julie T's because it's Big Brochella, not Diafest. Um, and there's some questionable ethical issues about what's going on over at Diafest. I'm um, kind of a bit mm, about talking about it, but we'll get there in a moment. But anyway, yeah, they had a margarita party. And it's really kind of um, Jasmine's farewell tour, of course. We've, we even saw in last night's episode Michael talking about how Jasmine is continually using her birthday as a reason to not go on that damn block um because it was it was my birthday month is coming up it is my birthday week and now it's don't send me home in my birthday month well lucky for us jasmine will most likely be going home on thursday night i would imagine that because diafest and big brochella ones luxury ones not i would imagine diafest person's going to be evicted first so that person will most likely take 10th whereas the big brochella person will take ninth so it, it almost it's almost certain at this point that jasmine will be our ninth placer of big brother 24 do you know what that's going to be the question of the day folks because jasmine is somebody who has been on a roller coaster this season of people hating her some people love her some people only like her in the diary room um that's me and um uh, yeah there's a, there's a lot to talk about there so that's the question of the day and I'll, I'll um i'll pause that in the comment section are you going to miss jasmine i've got a feeling what most of the answers are going to be but let me know folks if you are going to miss jasmine when she most likely leaves on thursday night okay now while we don't have any um game updates from Diafest, it's very very important we talk target talk regarding who is going to be home going home on thursday night we of course know that the wonderful turner and the amazing joseph are both on the block together this is for me the most heartbreaking uh, eviction in big brother 24 so far they are two of my final three it's turner joseph and and taylor and it's killing me that one of the three is gonna have to go home this week and kick the big brother bucket and um my money is almost certainly on mr joseph abden i think he is going to be going home um and i'm very very sad about that i it's difficult for me because i could have both got amazing merits i mean turner i think is my number one out of everybody I think he's amazing. He represents young people in such an amazing way, so that that hits home for me. And he represents bi people in 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 such an amazing way. Again, hits home for me. I, I just this guy's really, really, really cool. I want to be like best friends with him. He's just so funny. He's so entertaining. We've got a lot in common, and uh, yeah, he's just really, really awesome. So I am happy that Turner is most likely staying, but also very heartbroken that Joseph's going to be going home. He has shown 
throughout the season what an incredible stand-up guy he is. His only detriment has been himself being too nice. He always looks for the good in people and always looks for the, the good things. And as a result, he's on the block now and going to be heading out the door. So as far as, as being a human goes, Joseph gets top marks. But Big Brother is Big Brother, right? And he has been played by DJ Showtime. Terence, right? And it was like he was saying in the DI yesterday. To go home on Terence's HOH is, is tough. It's tough. And can, can we talk about this for a second, right? I'll close that off just in, just now. I'll just say I'm, I am sad about Joseph going home this week. Um, and folks, let me know if you are as well. because And just pay some nice tribute to Joseph because you can see he's having a tough time at Fest as well. So please put some lovely messages down there for Joseph. Um, but anyway, I want to talk about this split house twist. Because it annoyed me last night on the episode at the fact that they were like, the house is getting split in half. And the whole purpose of this was to literally create two different dynamics where people couldn't talk to one another on each side and they would have to play their own separate games. Moments after, we saw them all let back into the house together where they were all sat in the kitchen. Commit to the twist or don't commit to the twist. Don't do it half assed If you listen, if you're gonna let them all back in the house, then the wall yellow should be allowed, right? You know what? It just you can't just make up the rules as you go along. You cannot make... I'm, I'm looking at my updates as I'm doing this right now. But I know I've gone off topic here talking about this. But I'm sure a lot of y'all agree with me. You can't make the rules up as they go along. I know they had to go back in and uh, and get clothes, etc. And pack and, and get... But what they should have done is separated the group still. Kept them separate. Don't let those dynamics mesh right after you've just made those dynamics. Really, really bad, uh, bad um, management of the twist, in my opinion, and very disappointing. Um, besides that, I haven't really got much to complain about for that twist, but I don't know. I feel like that's stating the obvious, though. If you're going to do a split house dynamic twist, split the house and keep them split. You know, it's it sounds obvious, but I actually have to say this out loud. Okay, now for the part we've all been waiting for, and this is Wall Yellow Gate continues. So... It sounds like we can almost confirm now that there was a wall yelling incident where somebody or a group of people at least came along and shouted over the, the wall, Kyle's a liar, don't trust Kyle, yada yada yada. It sounds like the house guests did indeed hear what was said. It wasn't a situation where only production heard. It sounds like the house guests did hear. And as a result, they are combating that by blasting music in the backyard all day. We found this out because... Some of the house guests inside, Big Brochella were talking about the fact that they could hear music playing loud. And uh, I saw a couple of people online. I didn't notice it myself, but I saw a couple of people online talking about the fact that when a house guest a Brochella got near the door, you could kind of hear the music slightly. So that's an interesting tactic that to uh, to block it out because there's been a lot of ethical issues that have been raised uh, from people because, of course, the backyard has floodlights as it is. And now people are slightly worried about their mental states and mental health at the fact that the floodlights are bearing down on them and the music's playing non-stop. People are a little bit worried about the house guests. And I wasn't worried until someone did make that comment and you start to think, oh my God, that's like... I'm not going to call it torture, but it's like when you see it in the movies, that's often torture by blaring the lights and playing the music loud. Um, what's it called? Is it sensory deprivation? Is that what it is? I think that's the word for it, but I don't know if it's that deep, but at the same time, I bet that takes a mental toll, especially being in the Big Brother house, as is where your mental state is going, it's crushing in on itself. Plus the fact that you're in an enclosed space to be in the backyard, which means you can't get any rest from the sun until it's night time, and still then the floodlights are on and the music's playing, all to prevent somebody from shouting over the wall. That's a lot for the human brain to take in. That is a lot. I hope that they are getting some kind of break out of that. It's, it's more fear of the unknown as well because we don't actually know what's going on. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to them, you know, maybe getting some quiet time, getting to actually, I don't know if there's a separate room elsewhere in the studio that they could go to um, because separately, of course, because I don't think it seems fair to leave them out there like that because it's more than a 
punishment, really. You know, Direfest is actually becoming... I mean, well, <laughs> it's almost poetic, really, because we know Firefest was the fraud festival, and Direfest have obviously done it bad where everybody has to sleep outside with the porta potties and everything like that, but it's, like, got worse than we imagined, just like Firefest. It almost seems like the universe is doing its work here. Um, it doesn't sound good, though. I guess that's one way of combating it, but it's obviously um, something CBS and, and, and the studio are worried about more while well, yeah, because there is still a uh, an influx online of people talking about going to the studio. And I, I saw some people saying, we're meeting at Chili's down the road uh, and, and uh, a group of us are going to march up to the studios and shout over the wall, Kyle's this and that and, and what have you. So... I don't know. There's definitely still a worry that something like that could happen, which is why CBS, I assume, are taking these precautions. Um, because anything could be said. I know there's been talks of uh, flying plane banners over as well, like they did in the old days, but then I've seen people say nothing since Big Brother 8. It's became... The, the CBS took action and now it's illegal to fly over that airspace or whatever with whatever... There's a lot of things to take into account, basically. Um... And it seems like this twist hasn't really been planned out too well. Because let's be honest, you know, on an average week in the Big Brother house, they get to spend maybe one to two days of the week in the backyard and the rest of the days it's locked to create comps. So take that with what you will. They're stuck out there for seven days, the music's blaring and the lights are on and they can't even go inside. Until they are doing DR things. That's tough. And I just hope everybody at Diafest and their mental state is okay. That is all of your live feed updates for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching. Please let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below. There's a lot to talk about today, especially the stuff that's going on in the backyard. Um, when do we think the feeds are going to be back? I hope they're okay there. I really do. I really do. Um, but, folks, thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching. I appreciate you. Happy Monday. I hope everybody has a fantastic week. And we get a nice double eviction on Thursday. It's going to be a sad one, but I hope it's nice. We get a good HOH by the end of the night as well. It'll be wonderful. But have a great week, everybody. In the meantime, um, I'll say all the stuff I usually do. Make sure that you're staying safe, staying positive, staying healthy out there. And remember to be kind to one another. Make sure that you don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Do all of that wonderful stuff. But until your next live feed update. I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.